Okay, a uh, long time no see, but we are back in business. So hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna talk about the Basus or Base US. I don't know exactly how it's pronounced, but I think it's Basus 17 in one. That's probably, in my opinion, the best bank for your bug tower for your 16 inch MacBook Pro. And that was a mouthful. Now, that being said, I know that the 16 inch MacBook Pro has a lot of ports that are really useful, but I'm using those only when I'm out and about and I'm traveling and stuff like that. But when I'm back home, I like to work on two or three different monitors depending on the project that I have. And I like to have everything plugged in in only one place. And from that tower, I like to have only one cable that's plugged in the laptop. So that's why today we are talking about the Basus 17 in one. So on the front of the tower, we have two SD card slots, one SD and one micro SD. Both of them are up to two terabytes and that's a really nice thing to have in my opinion. Three USB type A slots that are 3.0 and they support speeds up to five gigabytes per second. Two USB C 3.0 that are also supporting five gigabytes per second speeds and one headphone jack. And because I wanted to see how fast this thing is and how fast you can dump data, I did this test folder that is almost 55 gigabytes and I can say that in 25 minutes everything was copied, so the speed is not that bad. Alright, so let's talk about what you're gonna receive in the box for 120 euros. In the box you're gonna receive the tower, you're gonna receive a stand, you're gonna receive the power adapter, you're gonna receive a USB-C to USB-C cable, and that's really convenient because you're not gonna go and buy another USB-C cable, and last but not least, you're gonna receive some adapter heads for your power adapter. On the back of the tower we obviously have the rest of the ports and there are nine of them so let's talk about those. Number one we have a USB Type-C slot that's for power delivery, we have a USB Type-C for data transfer, we have two USB Type-A 2.0, you can use those two for peripherals like the keyboard or a mouse or I don't know like a graphic tablet or something like that so they are really handy. We have three full HDMI slots, we have another slot for the power supply and last but not least we have one ethernet port. Now let's talk a little bit about those HDMI ports. You can connect up to three monitors that are 4K 60Hz to your MacBook Pro, but there is a catch. You can use those three monitors only in mirror mode. And if you want to extend your MacBook Pro display, you can use only one monitor. So it is what it is. The next thing that we need to talk about is definitely the power supply slot. And I'm pretty angry with this slot because I was expecting a USB Type-C slot because everything is USB Type-C today and I didn't receive that obviously. But there's a positive side as well because you're not really tied to that power supply that you received with the tower to make everything work. So what you can do, you can take the USB-C cable that you received in the box with the tower and you can plug that cable into your MacBook Pro charger and you can make everything work with only like one cable. If you don't want to use your MacBook Pro charger to make everything work, you can use another charger, but I'm recommending another charger that's between 60 or 100 watts because the MacBook Pro is a monster and needs a lot of energy, so keep that in mind. And there's one other interesting thing about this tower, but comes with a caveat. So, if you're gonna unplug it from the wall, everything is gonna work just fine, but now it needs a lot of power, so now it drains the battery of the laptop. And if you don't want to have like a shitty battery on your laptop, just keep it plugged in. This is what I'm recommending because I don't want to like send the laptop to Apple to replace my battery like every six months or something. So another thing to keep in mind. And now last thing on the list, pros and cons. And I'm gonna start with the cons and I think you already know the number one. So number one, I hate the fact that it doesn't come with a USB Type-C power supply slot. I just hate it and I hope that the next version or like a newer version is gonna have that. And number two, and I figured it out recently, is that when you're plugging in a lot of things in it, it gets pretty hot. So maybe don't have all your slots full. And now let's talk about the pros a little bit. Number one, I love the sleek design and I love the color scheme with gray and black because it matches my MacBook Pro. Number two, I love the aluminum alloy body even though sometimes it gets pretty hot. And number three, I love the build quality and I love that it's really sturdy and not flimsy in any way even though it gets hot sometimes. So that's it people, this is my review video of the Basus 17-in-1 tower for the 16-inch MacBook Pro and I hope you enjoyed it. 
You can tell me in the comments down below if you're using a tower when you're back home or a hub or if the ports on the 16 inch MacBook Pro are more than enough for you. I'm gonna wait for your opinions down in the comments. That being said, I'm gonna end this video right here. So I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace.